Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Derivative of a complex function. This lecture is a part of the previous lecture in which we have studied that if we are given a function f of z, then we can use this formula to find its derivatives. Or we can use this formula to find its derivatives at a point z is equal to z0. Or in a simple way we can use only the first formula we can get the answer and finally in the answer we can put z is equal to z0 and we will get derivative of the function at the point z is equal to z0. Now let us solve this problem. Differentiate f of z is equal to z square at any point z by using the definition. So here first of all let us write the formula. The formula is that f dash of z is equal to limit delta z approaches to 0. f of z plus delta z minus f of z divided by delta z and now we have to put the values f of z is this thing so just replaced z by z plus delta z and we can get that this is equal to limit delta z approaches to 0 z plus delta z square minus f of z it is z square divided by delta z. Now we have to just expand this formula and we can get that this is equal to z square plus delta z square plus 2z delta z and minus z square divided by delta z. Now this z square will be cancelled with this one and let us take delta z as common so we will get that this is equal to delta z into delta z plus 2z divided by delta z now we can cancel these two terms and we get that this is equal to delta z plus 2z now just put delta z equal to 0 here and you will get that the answer is 2z but just for similarities I have to use the similar way so we can write this thing like limit delta y approaches to 0 and delta x approaches to 0 and delta z is equal to delta x plus iota delta y similarly here I can write z as x plus iota y and let this is equation number 1. Now first of all I have to find these limits along the horizontal axis. At the horizontal axis, we know that delta y is equal to 0. So just put delta y equal to 0 in 1 and we can get from 1 that f dash of z is equal to limit delta x approaches to 0. Delta x, this is 0 plus 2 into x plus iota y and now if I put values delta x approaches to 0 I will get that this is 2 into x plus iota y so f dash of z along the horizontal axis is equal to 2z now in second case I have to, to find the derivatives uh, along the vertical axis 
and at the vertical axis we know that delta x is equal to 0. So again from 1 we can get that f dash of z is equal to limit delta y approaches to 0 because now delta x is 0 and in this now delta x is 0 so we can write iota delta y plus 2 into x plus iota y and if I put delta y equal to 0 we can get 2 into x plus iota y and finally we get that the derivative of the function f of z along the vertical line is same to z. Hence we have unique limits and hence the differentiation of this function is 2z and this is the required solution. Now let us see another problem. In this problem we have to differentiate this function f of z is equal to z into z conjugate at any point z. So in a similar way I am going to write the definition. The definition is f dash of z is equal to limit delta z approaches to 0 f of z plus delta z minus f of z divided by delta z and now we have to put the values just replace z by z plus delta a delta z so we can get that this is equal to we can get here z plus delta z and similarly z plus delta z conjugate and minus f of z which is equal to z into z conjugate divided by delta z and we have the limits delta z approaches to 0. Now we can split this conjugate this means that this is equal to limit delta z approaches to 0 z plus delta z into z conjugate plus delta z conjugate minus z into z conjugate divided by delta z. Let us multiply these two terms. So we can get that limit delta z approaches to 0. This is z into z conjugate plus z into delta z conjugate. Now plus z conjugate delta z and plus delta z into delta z conjugate and finally we have this term z into z conjugate divided by delta z. Now these two terms will cancel and we have only this equation. So now we can write this equation as f dash of z is equal to limit delta x approaches to 0, delta y approaches to 0. Now z is equal to x plus iota y. Delta z is equal to delta x conjugate plus iota delta y conjugate but conjugate only changes the sign of the iota term. So this is equal to delta x minus iota delta y and plus now z conjugate x minus iota y because conjugate only changes the sign of iota term and this is delta x plus iota delta y and finally we have to put the value here this is delta x plus iota delta y into multiplied with delta x minus iota delta y and whole divided by delta z which is equal to delta x plus iota delta y. And now let us say this is our equation number one. 
so we have to find the limits along the vertical axis and the horizontal axis so what uh, along the horizontal axis we know that delta y is equal to 0 so put delta y equal to 0 and 1 and we will get that 1 implies that if dash of z is equal to limit delta x approaches to z because delta y is 0 and this is equal to x plus iota y and now delta y is 0 so here we have only delta x this term is 0 plus from here x minus iota y again delta y is 0 so we have only delta x here similarly delta y is 0 so we have delta x and into delta x and whole divided by whole divided by delta x because delta y is 0 now taking delta x as common we can see they will be cancelled and we can get that limit delta x approaches to 0 so we have x plus iota y from here from here we have x minus iota y and from here we have delta x now this term will cancel with this one if I put delta x equal to 0 so we can get that the answer is 2x so f dash of z is equal to 2x and now let us find uh, the limits along the vertical axis and we know that along the vertical axis delta x is 0 so in a similar procedure from 1 we can get that if dash of z is equal to just put delta x equal to 0 we can get that this is limit delta y approaches to 0 and we have x plus iota y and this one is minus iota delta y delta x will be 0 and there is x minus iota y and this term is iota delta y and plus from here delta x is 0 so we have iota delta y into minus iota delta y and whole divided by iota delta y now let us take iota delta y as common so if i take iota delta y as common it will be cancelled and we can get that this is equal to limit delta y approaches to 0 so here i can get x plus iota y and iota delta y is cancelled so we have only minus 1 here similarly from here we can get that this is equal to x minus iota y plus iota delta y is cancelled with this one so we have plus 1 and from here we can see that this term is cancelled and we can get minus iota delta y and now let us put the limits so if i put the limit this one is 0 but here i have to multiply uh, minus 1 inside so I will have minus x minus iota y plus x and uh, minus iota y x and minus x will be cancelled and we can get minus 2 iota y so the limits of the function f of z along the vertical axis is equal to minus 2 iota y and you can see that the limits are not unique the limits are not unique here we have 2x and in this place we have minus 2 iota y so since the limits are not unique so this implies f of z is not 
डिफ्रेंशियबल एंड दैट इज ऑल नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप आई हैव टू शो यू सम डिफ्रेंशिएशन फॉर्मूलाज हेयर आई हैव टू टेल यू दैट ऑल द रूल्स ऑफ कैलकुलस कैन बी यूज हेयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल differentiation of a constant with respect to the real variable is zero so in a similar way differentiation of constant with respect to a complex variable is zero if a constant with is multiplied with a function f of z then that constant can be taken outside and we can only differentiate the function similarly we can use the power rule that differentiation of z power n is n z power n minus 1 if two functions are in sum or in subtraction we can just differentiate them individually similarly we can use the product rule if two functions are in product then the differentiation is first differentiation of second plus second differentiation of first if two functions are in division we can use the quotient rule g square g differentiation of f minus f differentiation of g and in a similar procedure we can use the chain rule that d by dz of f is equal to df over dw into dw over dz so you can use all the rules of calculus here and now let us solve some problem to clear that concept differentiate f of z is equal to 2z square minus iota whole power 3 just differentiate with the usual way so i have to differentiate if dash of z this is equal to i will use the power rule 3 to z square minus iota power 3 minus 2 into inner differentiation which is 2 z square minus iota so we can get 2 into sorry 3 into 2 z square minus iota whole power this is 1 so this is square and from here we can get 4z now just simplify and we will get 12z into 2z square minus iota whole square so this is the usual rule which which we can use in the calculus let us show you one more example differentiate this function f of z is equal to sin z into log z so we will differentiate in a similar procedure f dash of z is equal to this is first function and this is second function first function differentiation of the second function which is 1 over z plus second function and differentiation of the first function which is cos of z and you can get the solution similarly if we have two functions and they are in division for example we have x square divided by sin x then just use sorry this is z z square divided by sin z then just use the quotient rule and solve the problem if we have sin inverse z and we have to differentiate to use the formula for sin inverse z which is 1 over 1 minus z square under root and you will get the answer so you can use all the rules of calculus in the complex analysis and you will get the answer and that is all